I don't know. I don't know what you want. Or why you're here. But I'm not interested in anything you have to say. Now, there is a pub full of punters downstairs. And if you ain't out of here in the next five minutes, I'm gonna start screaming. And I will not stop until the police turn up and take you away. <laughs> what for? Having a rather warm drink with my ex, sister-in-law. Breaking into my home? I was threatening behaviour. Yeah, well, you could always make something up, eh, Linda? I mean, it's a courtesy, really. I didn't want you finding out and well, freaking out. We know what a fuss you can make. You're going into business with Ian and Cindy. Mm. Signed, sealed and agreed today. Well, as I say, sleeping partner, technically. Obviously, I'm gonna have to keep a close eye. I mean, she seems like a nice enough woman, but I don't trust him. Not as far as I could throw him. Why? Why now? Why back here? My little girl, Jade. She's ill. Well, worse. Much worse. Why would I lie about my own daughter? Oh, go on, call Mum. She's talking again now. Oh, yeah. Well, if you'd have bothered to keep in touch, you'd know for yourself. Stress does physical damage, Linda. Mum was heartbroken when she lost Tina and Mick. Like, it actually broke her heart. And now this with Jade, and all of a sudden you freeze her out over some photo online. Final straw. How could I call her knowing she was with you? The second time they let Mum out of the psych ward, Carly washed her hands of her, which is hardly surprising, though, so we're never exactly close. But someone had to step up, put her back together, and I was all my mad. No, I don't. I mean, that's... Uh, what hospital was it? Uh, what, what's Shirley's actual diagnosis? I think my five minutes are up. Dean, is Shirley coming back? What, now that she knows the truth about us? She wouldn't come within a hundred miles of you. Whatever poison you've been dripping in her ear, Shirley would never, ever believe you! Where's Mick Linda? Hmm? Where's Golden Balls when you need him? <gasps> you wrecked my life. My friends, my family, my reputation. The way people look at you after something like that. Do you want to know why I went into business with myself? You try having an employer find out. That hanging over me, every relationship I've ever had since. Do you have any idea the effort it takes to build yourself back up? It's me who's survived you, Dean. Well, I have built myself back up, despite you, Linda. And I don't need your permission to talk to my mother or take a business opportunity or even move back to Walford. I do not need your consent. Get out. I'll see you soon. Bye. 